My name is Al Giannis, um, president of the PCI SIG, and I wanted to give you uh, give everyone an update on our PCI Express technology and our latest developments. Last month, uh, we published our final specification for PCI Express 5.0, and just this week, we announced uh, the start of our development of PCI Express 6.0. We started PCI Express uh, in 2002, running 2.5 giga transfers per second. And since then, we have doubled our bandwidth uh, in every subsequent uh, version of the PCI Express. From, from PCI Express 2.0 to 3.0, we actually uh, went to a different encoding uh, frequency that went from 8-bit, 10-bit encoding to 128-bit to 130-bit encoding. And that's how we were able to double our bandwidth from 5.0 gigatransfers per second to 8 gigatransfers per second. But uh, just recently with our PCI Express announcement, we're up to 64 gigatransfers per second. So PCI Express 5.0 runs at 32 gigatransfers per second. It, uh, it also has some uh, important features like uh, extended tags and, and extended credits, but the, those were actually done in PCI Express 4.0, so there was no need for us to update uh, those particular um, features. It also has improved signal quality uh, characteristics that improves our uh, signal integrity. In addition, we have improved connectors to maximize our channel reach. The other great thing about PCI Express 5.0 is the fact that we were able to release the specification in less than two years. PCI Express 5.0 will really help any uh, market that has uh, data driven and that is bandwidth sensitive. For example, machine learning, uh, gaming, artificial intelligence, networking, storage. Uh, those will be some of the key players that will pick up PCI Express 5.0. In addition, the accelerator attachments, the folks that need a big, large uh, data pipe, uh, because of the increased uh, bandwidth of PCI Express 5.0, since the fact that it can support 128 giga tran uh, gigabytes per second. Um, so those will be some of the key uh, markets where PCI Express 5.0 will be adopted. We're very excited about PCI Express 6.0. Uh, we announced it this week that we're gonna be developing 64 giga transfers per second. It will support PAM4, which is different than what we've done in the past. In the past, we've done uh, NRZ uh, technology, so, um, but we will be using PAM4. Uh, the goal will be to get it done in 2021, so in two years, we should hopefully have the specification. The channel reach will be the same uh, as PCI Express 5.0, um, so we're, uh, we're very excited about uh, our development of PCI Express 6.0. We're very excited about our recent announcements on PCI Express. Uh, we have provided a great roadmap for our members for the unforeseeable future to reach unprecedented performance. So if you're interested in our specifications or if you're interested in becoming a member, please click on the link below in the description.